Hi, Hi makers. makers! I'm Andrea. I'm Aggie. And I'm Samantha. And, and we, we are, are the Woolen Women. Women. We're a crafty but crazy bunch. Um, we do everything from polymer clay making to bag project bag making and indie dyeing. Uh, we enjoy all things making, such as knitting, um, a little bit of crochet sure. here and there, yeah. and uh, cross-stitching. Yeah. If you'd like to catch our cross-stitch, uh, check out our episodes on the Seashore Stitchers. Um, but this will be primarily a knitting podcast, where we right. show you all our up-to-date makes and all our crafty things we're doing. So, what are you drinking? Um, oh, I'm having a beer with you. Yeah. <laughs> we're having, having a Corona. Uh, Corona. Not sponsored. Cheers. <laughs> I'm having green tea. Oh, cheers with you too. Yes, cheers. I don't drink at all. Okay, so um, we haven't been on for a little while. <laughs> we haven't been on for a little while, like a month. Um, well, no, you guys are always like, oh, I've got a cute little drink, and I'm like tea. Yeah, I'm really tired after this anyway, so it's better, you know. I know it's been a while because we had we had a death that we. Lord over. Yeah, it's just been a little bit it's been trying, and so um, it's been about a month because we had to catch up with our making uh, and get some things sorted yeah. out. Uh, if you want to talk a little bit about that, and she got hurt. So oh that's, yeah, I'm out. I'm yeah. down for the count. Yeah, it's it's that hard. Um, yeah, I finally got to go to. I'm sure you all know, knit in the pit. We went on a Tuesday night. Andrea hooked up with John on, uh, you know, direct messaging on Instagram, and he uh, he asked her to dye yarn. So she dyed three skeins up for Asbury that the pictures he sent her. Oh, they're gorgeous, of course. You gotta see them right here. Really beautiful. Sure we'll show them better later. So um, our husbands went with us too, and we sat on the roof of the Asbury Hotel in um, New Jersey. It was so nice. He was so great. I mean, what a wonderful person so um we got shirts all of us got shirts but we forgot to coordinate so um i'm just wearing mine for you know the second time i worked for two hours last night now i'm wearing it again um because i love it oh it feels so soft it was worth every penny um yeah so john got us these and he gave us our shirts and we had a lovely evening we went out to eat afterward um we ate outside and uh like a few days later he's dead yeah, he passed away. Really she sad. comes screaming into my bedroom. John's dead. John's dead. I knew she didn't mean her husband. Yeah, my husband's name's John. I mean, look, I still have massive chills. I can't even believe it happened. So he had had a hip surgery for some sort of. He said it was like an infection, infection a bone infection. Yeah, you said. And it was I knit bad. in the pit. He announced that he had the all clear and everything was. Yeah, that fine. Friday. Yeah, yeah, I said he had a scare, Tuesday. but that everything had been good and everything came out fine. And he was so excited. And then off abruptly the and he all. passed away. So. And then Saturday night, that was the end. Sunday, we all found out. So since then, Scary. we've gone on Knit in the Pit twice. They've had some, uh, like, sort of like a memorial. They yeah. got a lot of people together that knew him really well. And yeah. so we got to kind of get to know him a yeah. little better through yeah, that. Yeah, because we didn't. I've been following him for two years that he's done him. it, but I never got to go. And I'll tell you what an impact he had. Like, I had contacted him. We started a collaboration. And then it he talked in days. to a yarn store, a local yarn store, store Balzac, Balzac Yarns, and got him to put my stuff in his store. So, like, yeah. that's been taking off for me since then. And yes. a lot of things have really been Yeah, they went for a meeting, her wonderful. and her husband. So... He did one last really? awesome deed before he yep. passed, but he was messaging Chris. That's the last uh, message Christy Glass got from when she saw him, and all of us were wrecked. Yeah, she said he just messaged he just me last night about, about Andrea, you. a rising star. I don't know industry. what he said. I never got to ask her like what he said. He took to you like he was really going to bat for me. Yeah, like, like trying to get me some business and help me get started. It was well, he really knew it sweet. had to be devastating. You become a doctor and then you don't have no job. Yeah, so I mean it's horrible. And then her husband's out of work. I mean it was all a nightmare. Then Pop Pop died. Yeah, so it was really I mean, sad. It was so. all. It's been bad. <laughs> um, they have Craziness. a memorial. I think it's what September thirteenth. Yeah. They have a memorial going on in person, like the Knit in the Pit people. Yeah, they're going to do it. They're going to stream it, though. Yeah, they'll stream it. I don't know if yeah. we're going to go in person. Yeah, because we, well, we didn't want to use up to the people that knew him more. There are people that really Yeah, knew I mean, him. we had just met him. I mean, I know he was following me. He he eventually followed me when I, we got on Knit in the Pit, what, in June? Like, right after Pop-Pop died? 
mm. we did the bit, or was it right before? Right before. Yeah, because Dawn and, and uh, Tony were here. Um, so I don't know if we'll go because we're going to save tickets for yeah, people that so actually think, personally knew yeah, him and want to be I there. Want to be there. To yeah. really say goodbye. We only had just met him in person, and I don't right. want to, you know, out somebody that might really need to grieve. Right, because he mean, really it's was sad, great. but we did not get to know him on a majorly personal level like we would have liked we to. We only yeah. met him a couple times and only got to really talk to him here and there for a couple, Isn't it a funny couple days, how large, like a week. Large of an impact a person could have. Well, he said that. Have. He said yeah. the last thing he on on the the Ashira show, I think that's what it's called on Facebook at noon every day. She said it because she was hysterical too. She loved them, and um. Uh, you might not be. You might only be one person, person. to the world, but right. you might be the world to one. One person. person. Somebody and it's said so that. That's true. a famous quote. Yeah, yeah uh, Doctor Seuss. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Doctor Seuss. I just remember. Cool. That was the last thing he said, and we stretched with a member. Yeah, he was really awesome. He told us about so, how to stretch our necks. Honestly, it was like a shock. It really was. It still is. It's still very upsetting. Especially when someone seems so vibrant. Mm -hmm. He seems so full, full of, life. of life. He yeah. did. Fine. He even got a, a good bill of health, and it's just crazy. Yeah. So that was really sad. sad. And then since then, everything took off with my yarn, uh, Woolen Women Fibers. And yeah. Things have been going really well. I've been working nonstop, which, yeah. is, which is great. Thank God. Um, but he really helped with that. He if did. it weren't for him, it wouldn't have been. So. Yeah. You're taking off big time. Yeah, it's so sweet. So, yeah, so we had that. So, exciting but, but upsetting yeah. too, you know. And since then we've had some exciting news. Yeah. Um her husband went back to work and so did mine. Yay! Yay. Yes, mine got a brand new job yeah. managing a liquor store. Samantha's went back to his old job doing splicing fiber, splicing fiber optics. Fiber optics. Because fiber optics up near Canada, right? Yeah. yeah. So Four he's hours been from New York. here and back a couple times. Is he home now? Yeah, he's home for uh, two days. days. Well, yeah. it's like more like a day and a half. We get really minimal time. It's nice that he drives. Though. Yeah, he'll. Well, he's close now. We go and get into the Texas projects, and it's gonna be hard because then I won't see him for three months at a time. Yeah, that's gonna be rough. And um, but I, I, when he was out of work, every single one of you makers that supported my shop. Yeah. You all put kept them afloat. food on my table yep. for my family and, and supported I mean, it's wonderful. my business and my dream. And yes, thank you so much. It's amazing. It's really amazing. It amazes me every day. It does me too. I knew everybody was great, but I didn't know it was this great. Um, speaking you of know? support, we have gained 100 subscribers. Yeah, we, we hit 100 We just reached our 100. Who was our 100th? Our 100th was we went on a knit night last night, but you know, on virtual Zoom with Karen from SSK Yarners and Sharon. And um, it was Karen that hit the 100. She was the 100th person. But we're going to have a giveaway, so stay tuned because yeah, we're giving away because we got 100 subscribers. And then, of course, I'm going to have to send Karen something very special. Yeah, so our 100 awesome. subscriber giveaway is going to be really cool, so stay tuned yeah. until the end. Um, does everybody want to say what they're wearing? Why don't you go first? Cause yeah, the Knit in the Pit. These are the shirts we yeah. got. It's got the knitting needles. Yeah. Should I show this now or no? Um, our gifts. We'll show our acquisitions later. Okay. Uh, I am wearing a present from my best friend, Amber. She is horse lover. I forget the number. It's horse lover on Instagram. Uh, she made me a tank top. It's got a split hem. It's a little bit longer in the back. Yeah. She did really good. Really pretty straps. What's even more special is she yeah. made it in my colorway, Brouhaha. Yeah. I haven't gotten a knit Brouhaha up yet. Yep. Let me come closer so they can see it. I haven't gotten to knit it up yet, but she knit it up, and look how gorgeous it is. It really it's is. It's got great. like pops of pink I would in love there. A cardigan in that. Yeah, it's gorgeous. She did a river bend um, strap on here, so yeah. that's river bend. So she used all my colors, and I'm really excited about it. It's really yeah, cute. Very nice. She said to me. Oh, I'm, I have a surprise for your sister, and luckily she has a stunt double, yeah. so I can get the measurements and she'll never know. It really know. fits. Oh, that's <laughs> great. Yeah, that's funny. And, <laughs> and I was like, da 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 I couldn't know. get the tape measure. Yeah. <laughs> mine's it fits like... really well. She knit this in like three days, maybe yeah, not even three so days. Yeah, she's so fast. She does so great. Really fast. She knitted it and blocked it in like 
three days. It's insane. Yeah. I wish I was that fast. That's I crazy. know, me too. Well, I tried to be, and then my wrist was, you know. Amber oh, yeah. made me. Yes, yeah, she did. That's socks. what I was saying. We should tell. There they are. Right. These the, are in rainbow mountain, mountain colorway, woolen yeah, fibers. fibers. So cute. She made these. She made, made these. her socks and them. she made me this beautiful shawl. Yeah. Jersey Epic. blue crab. Jersey blue crab. Look at it. Show this shawl oh, up close, Smith. I'm sure your shirt is up there. What's it's my shirt so called? I wonder what that shirt, shirt is called. It's called the Amor Arrow Sweater. They should just do and it. And yours is in Blackbird Song. The shawl, I'm not sure what the pattern is. I'll have to link it. It's one skein. It's beautiful. It's and a it's one skein shawl, great. and it's in Jersey Blue And it's crab. bouncy. It's great. You get a drape on it. And what is, nice. what is this? That's Blackbird Song. It's I know that. It's yours arrow sweater. Yeah. Like it it has a lace panel up at the top. Turn Show them the, the white lace in the back. And white lace in the back. White lace in the back. And it's Kitchener, the shoulders, it's really yeah. seamless, which I is I like nice. it, it's very comfortable and pretty. So we're all wearing yeah. our presents and yeah. our hand mitts. I can't put mine on, I'm too hot, but I want to. I love, Amber I love made up shawls. a heel, she just kind of winged it and did her own heel on those socks. We are so getting her to write down that recipe. Yes, because I need that. It's the best heel. They fit like a glove. They really do. And her, so her uh, cuff. She knit us all something in our colorways. It's excellent. She held Sweet. double on her cuff. And I just, oh, and it's excellent. I need I to party. do that. I need to do I like that. it. I, I need it. to do it too. It's made love it so squishy. Socks. Oh, excellent. squishy and nice. It really is. Okay. Wait, so I have right. these. Okay. Okay. So, so, so are we doing whips now then? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know, are we? Yeah. yeah okay. Let's do whips. All right. Go yeah. ahead. All right. We'll do this one first. This is a wholesale order, and because you could never understand what this character is unless I told you, I'm allowing you to see it. Yeah. It is Little Princess Ball Gowns. Oh, now, do you so add pretty. the glitter to that white, or does it come like that? No, it comes like this. Little princesses in the making. There so they are. cute. They have a Swarovski so gem, cute. crystal, and they yep. have iridescent. It's so I'm working angel. on a wholesale order, which oh. was late, because my clay order likes to, yeah. you know, it's COVID. not it's COVID. show up on time. There's a, a, a will shortage. Um, but Dang. every purchase that you make will have a mystery code up to 15% off inside your little thank you envelope in your box. So you, you can it. use yeah, it for your next purchase. And it has this cute wax seal. She's and I'm sure you guys them. have seen on my page. Yeah. But I'm like obsessed, guys. Yeah. I got a so snowflake and everything for winter. Yeah. Like stationery so and this wax seal are a thing. They're here to stay. Yeah. They started with the advent calendars and I got obsessed with them. And it's like moon water. Yeah. So if you watch my Instagram, yeah. me and my beauty make moon water, moon water all the time. So it was perfect and meant to be. So I had to do it. I love it. What are you working on? So many things. <laughs> We'd be here all night. Oh, I'm working on the second sock to the. What's this colorway called? Uh, steampunk romance. Yeah, remember I finished this one. That's my favorite one. Yeah, if you've oh, seen our, our Instagrams, you've probably seen one. Mm, we're finished. The second one. We're almost there. I'm almost there. Another, Another two good. inches. I'll be doing. Now the there's only a couple of these left, guys. If you want a steampunk kit, limited edition, yeah. you need to grab them now because. They're not coming back for a bit. We're going to do mystery yarn sets for a little while. They may come back at some point, but it will be a little bit. Put that over there, please. So I'm working on the Veter shawl. I've probably shown this a couple times. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, sorry, I'm in the middle of a row. Samantha, if you want to grab this, let me turn it so you can see the charms on it. Oh, I know you got that that maple leaf. I never got one. The <laughs> Japanese. <laughs> I know. Sorry, it's really She's rough. always like, I never got oh, one. Oh, the little. You got to show these little. Ones. Yeah, here. There's a little mushroom and a Japanese maple leaf on here. You want to show it? The it's mushroom's so right there. The leaf is somewhere here. Oh, now this set it. is, is like not a... available in my shop. Because but it's something it she made as a gift for me because I love it. Specially made stitch markers. Mm. There he is, that oh, little. Flip the screen if it. That little tiny mushroom. So 
so great. Look at him. So Wait. we had a mushroom for the woolen brew, and it was a little toadstool, and I absolutely loved it. So look now, at his little mushroom definition under there. So he a mushroom. Yeah, it's so and cute. And then the maple leaf is on there. He's there just being mystical. And I made a set of three of those stitch markers. I might do I like an assorted color pastel version of it to sell in the shop. I don't know, though. Where's the leaf? He blends in with the Japanese oh, maple he color He was line. so spot on. You can't... Oh, I know. Yeah, is he there? there he is. You can't see it. There he is. So that come Well, that is available for purchase it. with the Japanese maple colorway, which is in the lace panels on there. And just look. We match up colors. Like, well, reach in the bag. Out? The skein is there. So great. Does this come with the punk? Uh, no, this comes with that's clear. Oh, here it is. Here it is. So beautiful. And the color, though, hold on. The struggle is real. It is. The yarn is it? The color (laughs) is just so spot on with this leaf and this colorway. I love it. She always gets surprised. That's my yarn. I know. That's virtue. Is the pink mohair. And, and Japanese, Japanese maple, maple is, is the other the one. Oh, wait, what's one? the one I was saying? You were saying it was someone else's. <laughs> I'm spell. Uh, the Ziggy <laughs> Shawl. The Ziggy Shawl. Oh. What's oh. Christina's yarn? I bashed oh. my elbow. Oh, Look. My it's cut. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it's just thing on the wall here. Cutting <laughs> board. Sorry. I'm sitting on a bunch of pillows because there's never so, any room. I'm working on that. Oh. Mm. By working on, I mean not really because my wrist. And I'm working on... Still working on this, but still it's working great. on this. Smith, a lot of progress on this. This is the Half Moon Tea by Dragon Horde Designs. I really want this one. you going to give it to me? We say this every know. time. Come, Come on. No, it's going to be epic. I did give you that one. You I'm read. like, no, it's going to be epic. <laughs> I terrible. know, but I love this colorway. Isn't this the Northern Lights? Yeah. yeah. It's not mine. This is by Robin's Roost. <laughs> I know, but I love that colorway. And it's the half moon tea. And, and it has a it. little sleepy sleep moon on it. Yeah. But it's so beautiful. I want it. Okay. Sorry, it's not here to show us how person. That's okay. These pillows just, they're not. Um, and then I'm still working on, I don't know if I have one of your okay. charms I'm on back. here or not. This oh. is rough. That has a little clam yeah. on it. This isn't sold anymore. This is a discontinued color. That looks great. This is my little oh. sheer VT. Yeah. Mother of Pearl. The Mother of Pearl colorway, yeah. which was out for the summer. It's it's gone now for a little while. It'll be back because mm. I absolutely Beautiful. love it. But I think it's going to go really good for winter. It's like snow bunny yeah, you make colors. a cardigan, you throw the cardigan on. Yeah. And I didn't hold this with mohair because I, I thought it would be too hot. So I altered that. This would have been held with mohair, but I did just fingering. And then I did the mohair for the sheer V, obviously. Yeah, it was great. So. Very nice. And I've got her. You want to show it, Samantha? Because I got your this is the cat on there color. and a. Uh, give me the other needle. Uh, here, I'll give you yarn. Just keep going. <laughs> okay. So this is in the Echeveria colorway. Oh, so this beautiful. This hair. And what's the other base? There's a seventy-five slub. twenty-five uh, fingering weight in there. Then there's a ninety-ten slub. And, and there's a mohair. mohair silk base. And on this epic. one, she has got a cauldron from I just the, the mail. Um, I had a popsicle on there. I thought, oh, I gotta get From that the over. woolen brew. Yeah. Very cute. It's so got like a little cute. tentacle. In that's the, the only charm that's sold separately from the woolen brew is the cauldron. All the ingredients will never, ever be sold in the shop outside of that kit. And the black cat. Oh, I have the kit right up there. <laughs> He's so hard to see. Mm. I love this colorway. Wait. Oh, and I wanted to show um, this one. Finally, I, don't, I didn't have this last time. I finally got a Mrs. Brown's bag. Epic. Oh, she didn't tell us whose bag, whose who's yarn, whose yarn it is, whose colorway, her colors. I would have liked to know. I know. I meant to message her. Maybe it says on the website. But I'm finishing up the end. Yeah. Okay. I try to stop on the. I know. You're good. See, I'm adding in the. um, Okay, I lied. I might like the light color on the outside. Yeah, It's like a fade. So this is the pumpkin spice is the main color by Willow Women Fibers. And then the top up here is toasted pumpkin seed. (sighs) 
with toasty Pumpkin browns and some oil. pumpkin speckles. Uh, she finished hers. Well, I'm almost this. done. I'm on the lace. It's so I did bit. the reverse. Right. And I did, and I'm finished yeah. mine. And I she like did both. The darker. I did the lighter as I the main them. color, the toasted pumpkin seed, and then the darker pumpkin spice as the accent lace color. Mm -hmm. I Gorgeous. think they're going to be epic. I'm so, so excited. Nice. So we oh, did reverse shawls. Uh, I can't wait to take. We're going to do a whole. I know photo we have to do a whole photo shoot. We, ne we never do it right. We have reverse shawls. We're going to be in boots. We're going to make it really good. Yes. I keep saying and that. I got it. My special. But then it keeps bag. raining every time I look pretty, and I'm oh, like, let's go do a photo shoot. It rains. But yeah, so we did reverse shawls, and I think. Oh, I'm caught. We are going to do something really special for our. Opposite shawls we did. Hard to buy bags. Cute. Bag and bag. these are available in my oh, shop as hat. Age of Gold shawl kits because this is obviously the Age of Gold shawl by Hohi Locatelli. Um, and you can choose your main color. Yeah. So if you want the darker main color or the lighter main color. Yeah. So. And I've got. I'm in the middle of a row, of course. Okay. I started a hat with this colorway. Here. This is the casting and candles colorway oh, it looks so great. on a seventy-five twenty-five uh, superwash nylon yeah. and gold Stellina base. So pretty. You could show this. Look, it gets black over there. White over there. It sh if you right did this there. in socks, it would create like a faux stripe, and it it mimics like the flaming colors of a lit candle, like a black flame candle. Yeah. It's beautiful. So, I love it. It's one of my favorites. I, I cast from a socket right hat, so I'd have just, you know, ribbing and, and doing the, yeah, going round and round and round. And it has a little red truck, truck on it. it. Yeah. For the fall. Yeah. Very cute. I love it. So if you haven't purchased your Halloween yarn yet, this just is a perfect it. orange uh, and black type Halloween speckles. color. The speckles. Oh, and oh, I had your toasted pumpkin seed on there. Oh, the little toasty guy's on oh, there. Oh, I love yeah, him. Everybody loves him. Everyone love loves him. a little toasty they pumpkin seed. Oh, he's so sweet. I know, I'm just That's sunny. They like the colorway, too. too. They were oh, the biggest Oh, and Balls at Yarn loved Samantha's bag. Mm -hmm. Oh, one of loved the this. originals. One yeah. of the originals. The originals. They did. They loved all. They were so sweet. Tag. I had a two-hour <laughs> meeting with them for them to pick out their colors and all, and they were oh, so they were so generous and so excited, and it was really nice seeing somebody so excited about my yarn. And I did cast on new stuff. Oh right. Oh, is that virtue? Yes. What? Yeah. I love it. Okay, I got. I um. Let me get those so they can see the pattern. Mm -hmm. I um, cast it on the Habitation Throne by Helen, Helen Stewart. Oh, with an adorable narwhal. Yeah, he, it's he's gonna be like great. magical on this face. I'm going to show that little picture. It's so great. Epic. Yeah, you're not showing it. I'm show that little picture. Yeah, so I got a little light blue narwhal on it. Narwhal. I still can't say it right. Narwhal. Mm -hmm. Can you show it up yeah. close? This is epic. That's my first color. Go ahead. This is Virtue. She had so sorry, she's sorry, um you got your work in. <laughs> she was my first patron, of course, because if your mommy isn't your biggest fan, I don't know who yeah, is. Yeah, I know. But she's received all of the patron minis from the PH Dyer Patreon. Um so check out my Patreon so I'm, I'm, if you I've haven't been already. Dying to knit them up. Yeah. Dying. So you do get I'm monthly gonna, fiber gonna. commissions. You get three ten grand minis yeah. along with should major video all. content. I have a basket. Uh, as well as 10% off of Does all. Does it look cute on there? 10% off of all collections oh, that I collect. I'm like, I'm using wood needles. I didn't have the size. I love that. We have so I'm many needles that. and I still didn't have the size. But I got so into this, but I was like, like the cat couldn't sit with me. I was like hitting her and I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, and I, I wonder if this didn't do it to my wrist. Oh, I don't know. I'm it doing might. the same thing and using straight needles straight for needles. my weave and fade shawl. We just because I ran out of spend the money. You want to show your little heart? Every time we turn around, we got to spend money. Because your heart's on here. Just yeah. For needles. I love these colors. I told them it's their turn now. They this is probably my needles. one of my favorite color schemes. Really? Actually, yeah. So I like you the second one you didn't better love it right love away, it. but I love it. But this is one of the weave and fade shawl kits. I like that. You have I didn't checked like it out. at first until she knit it. No, yeah. get out. That's like, that beautiful. looks excellent. Right? I like it I now. It, it definitely grew on me. The it actually looks like it's been um, dyed like that. Yeah, yeah. I like it. 
like a lion brand yarn. If like you the haven't Ravel, checked you know? out uh, Diva Knits on yeah. Instagram and on Ravelry, she came out with this weave and fade pattern, and it is gorgeous. It makes like an actual woven fabric. Yeah, it's a fabric. Yeah. Um, it sort of like fades all the colors in and out, so I really like that. I'd have to look. Oh, no, I can't. So, and there's anything. this color scheme, and then there's look. actually a second one, and they're all jewel toned themes. Uh, so, check that out if you haven't. She's such a sweet lady, too. She runs a podcast. I believe she's a fellow PhD, too. She is. Yes. Music. In music. music or performing arts. Yep. Performing arts, yeah. Um, and she's doing, uh, what is it? Dishing with the Diva. She's rebooted her podcast. Yes, she did. Out. We gave her inspiration. I loved that. Oh, speaking of podcasts. Look. Wait, look at all my minis. Oh, right. Look. Yeah. All her Patreon all minis. All my Patreon all minis. She's got a basket for them. I didn't want to take them. She made me. And then I thought, oh, I'll make a blanket. No, I want to give them to her. And I love to be busy. And I love putting my little Patreon minis and my stuff with all the other ones. I know. And You're like so cute. Them out. I love that. <laughs> um, speaking of podcasts, we need to mention Victoria. Yes. So Victoria, Victoria joined, a, joined us on the Knit Night. Was that last night? Yes. Last, last night. night. And uh, we just love her. We love her podcast. Oh, her podcast is so Her great. podcast. She's simply Victoria Knits, isn't she? Yes. On, on, um, on her YouTube podcast. On YouTube. She lives in Montana. And yeah, Samantha, could you poke the screen? I think we're unfocused this sure. entire time. Which sucks. It's all right. It happens. Did it go? Okay. Go back to focus. Sorry. Sorry. Um, she has Victoria Nets on YouTube, and she runs a podcast that's based around her home in Montana. Yeah. Uh, where she shows all her makes, but she also does like major hiking. Yeah. And like takes you on the trail to these I know. huge Wonderful. places, like as far as yeah. the eye can see. And she explains like the wildlife. The yep. history. You learn. Um, yeah, you actually yeah. learn. You go and I always wanted to go to Big Sky Country. Now yeah, she's making me jealous because she's know. sitting on her front porch in what looks like a log cabin. Yeah, last cabin. night we're on the knit night and she's looking out the window at uh, twins with its mother. She was years. our uh, she was our last giveaway winner. Giveaway winner, yep. and it was of unicorn poop. And her little uh, oh, her grandson. It was a grandson. Yeah, he oh, he so was like unicorn poop. Okay. And I was, we were literally oh, laughing because right. yeah. I kept thought it was so amusing that it was unicorn They're so poop. adorable. What oh was my gosh. Poop? So remember that mohair skein that just that, had just a touch too much of the chartreuse in it? And I was yeah. like, mm, it's not really true to the colorway, but it still looks like unicorn colors. And it's been yeah. sitting here and I couldn't figure out if I wanted to And the little kid said that. It. it was adorable. So I named it Unicorn Poop and I, <laughs> I sent it out because she was our giveaway winner. <laughs> That's and she adorable. read it while he was there, and yeah, he was adorable. Was so, great. so, so sweet, so blessed, you are with the grandchildren. They are so. Cute. I have one. So, That'll be over. And soon. she makes for her grandchildren, <laughs> and we get to like see a little bit of her life with that. Yeah, and it's that really nice. great. So, if you haven't Sad. checked her out, check out Victoria yeah. Knits on YouTube because yeah. her podcast is very just nice, added. lady. Yeah, great maker. Yeah, very good. But she was funny last night. She had wine. And yeah, like, none of us did. I'm I was hot like, we have wine. And she's like, well, you're going to hot flash anyway. Like, you think if you try to eat right and you're hot, you know, you're no, hot flash. Part and, of life. You know. So I drank my beer. I don't yeah, care. all the other women could relate. They knew. Yep. Um, drink it anyway. Relax. Okay, do we want to move on to finished objects? Yeah, well, you already showed, showed my shawl. one finished object. You showed Amber's finished. What else is finished? Uh, do you have any? They sold my socks, didn't they? The last one? The steampunk socks? Yeah, the steampunk socks. Uh, I got them all. On, on Instagram, they would have. Uh, I made them too big. So Four extra stitches. Really like ears. I love them. Ears now. and cogs. Can you yeah. come up and ears. do that? Yeah. yeah. She's got so a the, this is the gears and cogs set with the Aether Mini. I've gotten a lot of men purchasing this kit. Oh, it's great. And I could see that. It's like a I'm really nice sock for men or women. Oh, look, my nails match it. Um, and this is the Aether Same. Mini. It's like a, stitches, it's, it's like a green color. But look how thin this is. So again, there's only that a few of these left if you guys haven't snatched them up. And they won't be back for a little while. Yeah. And they're still, they still stay And long. she did a great job with these. Yeah, they're great. And the green is epic. Yeah, it's I like awesome. that green. Yeah. I should make like a green like that. I'm wearing them. <laughs> it's the first time I've gotten to wear them. Yeah. And they're oh, a little uh, big because I, I made them too big. I can show these as finished objects. Well, I like them. So uh, we were talking about the knit and the pit colors. I'm going to show you them a little bit closer up. So um, 
I had gotten some pictures, inspirational oh, pictures so of beautiful. a Fifth Avenue beach in Asbury Park from John. This is Fifth Avenue. And the reason it's speckled is he he had like an aerial view of Fifth Avenue Beach. So these look like the little umbrellas speckled on the sand. And then of course you have the beautiful like ocean colors here. So it's like sanded beach with the speckled umbrellas. People are really loving this one, especially on the DK base. Um, and then we have Asbury Tides, which is just so, and I made three prototypes, but these are the two he picked. Yeah, me too. This is on a sparkle base. I bet he didn't want sparkle. Yeah. So these are really popular on sparkle. And it's just basically sea and sand type colors. Um, really reminds me of the beach, this one. Oh, it does. And again, this is Asbury so Tides. Like There's only like a week or so left no, to use the code knit in the pit to get 10% off. Just and it's always it. free shipping over $35. They always get me. So, yeah. So, those are the colors. I This one, I had to give Mommy one because she had to have one on Sparkle. Oh, I just need to keep it in a glass jar. I love that sit. Sparkle. So, um, I know Sarah Ponderson, who is the designer of the Asbury Park shawl in the Asylum Fibers colorways last year, I think it was. Stephanie. Um, she... Sarah Punderson is designing another like shawl cowl type of thing and she is going to make one that you have an option for a DK or a fingering weight choice. Yeah. So uh, I know that she was blocking something I saw on Instagram. Let me see if this is... Yeah, so we all got to cast that one on for John. Yeah, I know she was... He was knitting on Andrea's yarn. Yeah, if you haven't checked out my Instagram, check it out because on my story, it shows like Asbury Tides right. next to his knitting. Right, if you go on onto John's, it, it shows, shows it. you the knitting. He actually yeah. had knitted up like what was going to be a shawl. I can put it out just there. Just before his Wonder, passing. Will oh, wonderful man. It? I know. Oh, I'm I so know. I wish we could it. get a hold of the family. I'm sure the makers did that. I'm sure yeah, they did. Somebody did. Somebody's like, got it. it go You'll probably get in, in touch with them. Don't but, worry. But um, Sarah Ponderson, who John put it. me in contact with, is doing that pattern. She'll probably finish and it. And she should have it out fairly soon. She said she really likes to push herself to get it out. Yeah. Um, I told her no rush on her end. After everything that's happened, it's been really stressful. And, oh, they're really upset. Um, like but everybody's gonna, super excited for it. An awful and thing. I mean, it honestly is just overwhelming how sweet everybody is. And, they are. And yes. how much they helped it. How much they loved my yarn. Knit like, in the pit tomorrow night. So great. Five thirty. Yeah. So I'm if zoom. you haven't checked out Knit in the Pit, they're continuing it with Brooklyn Boy Knits. Uh, yes. And I think a couple of the other yeah. moderators will be people who have done Knit in the Pit. The lady the that went to the years. first one, I forgot her name now, but she went to the first Knit in the Pit with John. Yeah. At so. the Osbury, in person. So check that out tomorrow if you have time. Yeah, um, we're gonna go on. It's a really great group of people, it really is. Yeah. Uh, does anybody have any future plans for your making? Uh, you yes, I'm that? dying to die. I did the, I cast it on the, um, the uh, habitation throw because I'm I do the Patreon of Chelsea um, makes um, from Legacy Fiber Arts, and she's been making this uh, spring cleaning shawl by Stephen West. She's making me want to knit it. Oh, I, I know. So. Look at it. Like I'm, I'm like, I just have to pick the colors and get it right, you know. But it tells you all here what you need, um, and I've never done one of Stephen's. I always was afraid because I don't feel like I it's can so be that good. It's so geometric, you know? Right, like I wouldn't be good enough to you do will. one of his You're things. You're going to do great. But I think I'll do all right, and I, I'm going to try. I really am. Um, and hopefully I can finish some of the stuff. I have two sweaters, cardigans, and I have half a, I have the whole body done and a half a sleeve. I got on Sleeve Island on both of them. And what's that on? Um... What are you two about? cardigans that I have oh, that okay. I was going to make. I was making for myself. Do you have any plans for what colors you're going to do this spring cleaning shawl in? Yeah, I'm not sure. Do you know, like a color palette. Like, are you going to do crazy colors like he does, or are you going to do more neutrals? I might. I don't know. Maybe we should incorporate an Asbury. Oh no, you should. Oh, I'm going to do the Sarah. Pony I could do it right that. here. Yeah, I have. So here's the. Oh. Six and seven. You need. See, I don't know what yards are to meters. Well, do you want to add some slob to it? 
Oh, look at all oh. the balloons. Yeah. Could you put slob in it? I think you could. I don't see why could not. It's texture. It's fingering you could do slob here and here. Show right. them the colors. I think they're That's awesome. That's epic. Oh my god. Like all the blues, you know? All the blues. Do I have any more blues? Wait, no, then I, I want to add. No, no, that's too much. <laughs> I think. I don't know. I think it's, it's epic with the black. Wow. Yeah, it is I'm great. Surprised. I, I think know. that gives yeah, it. Maybe it's that all is. the blues. I don't know. But give me uh, Christina's. I was thinking of using Christina's slub. The oh pink. God, the pink. Rose gold. Oh, I love How does that fit into that? It doesn't. You know, she was saying for a lighter shawl. Just for, you know. Oh, I kind of like it. It's a coral color. Yep. She's got gold in there and stuff. I like that. Or you could know. do the pinks. I have other one. pinks for you. Yeah, look at you that. You could mix them. There's so many options. So she's torn. And we need one, two, we need seven. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. Here's four of them. I oh kind of like God. the pink with that. Yeah. To be honest. I was going to use this, some leftovers. I was going to try. Yes, compliments. But I definitely want to do this. Yeah. This reminds me of seashells. Yeah. I'm dying. I like it. Doesn't smell anymore. No, no. She uses some delicious things. Oh, it smells, it smells so, so good, good when you open the the bag. So good. Yeah, I'll have to think about that. Yeah, I'll let you know on Instagram what I picked. Um, because yeah. there's, you know, there's so many great options. That's beautiful. So though. the only other thing is, is we're thinking about doing a Valentine's Day advent. Oh yeah. yeah. When I don't Jamaican know when we'll find um, out though. We're not sure when it's going to come out or anything, but if anybody's got any suggestions for any little charms that you might want to see something you want to see an idea in the advent it could yeah. get picked not saying that i will tell you it will be picked because it is a mystery yeah but it could get picked but if there's something you really like that you right. haven't seen yet that you would love to see in a skein of yarn yeah. and come to life in samantha's right. little creations let write us it. know yeah. write it in in fact that'll we be our hear it. Yeah. Wait till you guys see Maybe the Christmas thing going question. on. Oh, yeah. it's going to be great. Yeah. That's a good idea. We'll, write, we'll say that after. Yeah. Okay, I have yeah. one more plan, and then I'm done with my plans. Okay. I am doing the oh, either the Strange Brew sweater, or I'm doing one of the Dragon Horde designs. Um, Autumn Court? Autumn Court, or the Spellman sweater. Probably we, not the Spellman, because that's not color. Ones. Anyway, one of those. I haven't seen what, I, I haven't I decided what yet. Her. But I'm going to do it in Barefoot in the Forest with these beautiful greens and browns. And then the uh, uh, color work color is going to be an outlaw. It's hard to pick. My like tawny brown sort of um, tonal. So I'm really excited about that. And yeah. Red in here. Oh. Look at these little ball gowns. Adorable. <laughs> they got bodices. So bodices. Bodices. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Okay. Wait, you know so, what I'm going to do with these now? I'm going to end up making the cake toppers for my wedding. Mine. Oh, my God. Like, where did they Yeah, and from? you know what uh, Pebbles wanted me to put? Pebbles, this is my mother-in-law. She makes beautiful paper flowers, event planner. She's awesome. Um, oh, I wish I could remember her thing. I'll have to do it so we can put it on. But um, I'm going to make cake toppers, and then we're going to write finally at the top. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so Samantha's wedding has gotten postponed, yeah, if we haven't already me mentioned. Yeah. Um, she is not sure when you're going to get married yet, right? Um, I was going to shoot for October, but that's, that's still very close. soon. You're yeah, getting very close. I'm thinking next spring. <sighs> Does you it have to be 21? Yeah. I don't even know if I can handle I an odd number. I would want to get married Why in 2020. I? It's been such an awful it's year. It's been such yeah. a year. Let 2020 year. pass. Plan yeah. your wedding. Well, then I was thinking maybe the we would just so come beautiful. to this upcoming next summer yeah. and try it again. And try yeah. again. And that's what you should do. I planned my wedding. But I always wanted. I'm going to be honest. I always wanted an October wedding. I know. It's too I had close, one. I'm telling you, it's not. A, you're already in September. You would never make I, it. No, I know. Yeah, that would be yeah. I would have already had to do it. And with the oh, we already got our dress. Yeah, with everything. <laughs> yeah. We'll yeah. Well, I fit for one crimp it away. You'll fit. One crimp it away. You're really thin. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. You uh, believe um, me. You'll lose weight going. Oh, through. okay. It's called. Peb's Pretty Petals okay. on She'll Instagram. On I'll, I'll link it if she yeah. has a link. Yeah. And um, she does beautiful flowers. So let's talk about the giveaway. Oh, yeah. It's giveaway time. Okay. 
Should I show um, it? Um, let's mm -hmm. announce our winner for the last giveaway, and then we will do the okay. new giveaway, right? We'll do that. Uh, so our last giveaway, if you saw the twin episode, uh, you were to be the first person to say Sammy. Beetlejuice three times to win a Sammy Sosa <laughs> Creations Beetlejuice. And Amber Greenwood, you are our winner. Yay! Yay! Yay, Amber. Um, she was the first to get on there. I think it was like two hours after I posted. Yeah, she, she was really like, did it. Beetlejuice. So she Beetlejuice, went, Beetlejuice, yeah. Beetlejuice. Yes. So I'm so happy. One, this, I think this is her first time winning something. So I know. She's she going to be so right, excited. It wasn't. She's the first <laughs> one. She gave us gifts and now she yeah. gets gifts. I yeah, even have it. tissue paper to match his little outfit. It's striped. I even. Yeah. Love it. It's pinstriped like um, his little outfit. And for the next giveaway, you just gave me a great idea. If you guys are all right with it. Comment below, and you'll see what you're about to get in a minute for our 100 subscriber. It's going to be big. So comment below to tell us what you would like to see in a Valentine's Day advent. Do you think it could be a character. Like it could be a color paper. scheme. Yeah. It could be just a very generalized theme. Whatever yes. you want to see. Maybe wanna... something original that you haven't seen before. Yeah. And that You know what? Everybody does like truffles and you know all yeah. the candies and the usual <laughs> stuff not that i don't love making a good cake yeah. because i love making clay desserts yeah, it makes you happy and so hungry. Hungry. um we Don't have a few right now. <laughs> uh themes that we really love in mind but we'd love to yeah. hear what you yeah. think love to hear what you so comment say. on that you have to okay. be a subscriber okay. and you have to like the video to qualify for the giveaway okay and okay. this is what you will get go ahead so this is the first one and it's a, one of Samantha's epic bags from last Halloween, yeah, drawstring. Yeah. It's really big. I'll show it up close. Yeah, very big. So it's like a major shawl size yeah. bag. And major it's for Halloween size. if you're getting... Almost getting... sweater. Yes. And it's really big. And very, it's got little black it up, cats. It was near and dear to my heart because I have a spooky cat. Look at how big this is. On Instagram. It's killing me to give it away. Yeah. <laughs> what about your cat? My little spooky cat. It inspired me because it had little okay. spooky cats on it. And now, yeah. that's not all. And then you will also oh, so get bad. a Maximum Yarnage by My Michelle Knits. She's an indie dyer that me and Samantha are really close with. We just love her products. Um, and so this is her skein on her Celestial Base. Yeah. I believe it's called Peaches and Cream. Yep. Yep, Peaches and Cream. Um, I actually purchased it because I just thought it was so beautiful with the overlay yeah, of speckles. Beautiful. And as but Halloween, how much can we knit? Yeah, I mean, I have a lot it's to knit. So hard. So we right. purchase yarn because we have to look at it. Yeah, yeah I now just I'm need like to art, like stare yeah, at it. Person. Let me I tell you guys, it. it's the squishiest yarn. This would make the best pair of socks, like oh, Halloween socks, if you had another one. It makes socks feathers, and something. Socks and fingerless gloves. Um, yeah. Definitely. So for Halloween, you get your little Halloween kit right. for yeah. 100 subscribers. So yeah, so that's gonna that's exciting. Super and cool. I barely make bags anymore. I am thinking oh, yeah. of putting Wait, more bags. Like Smith. Okay. I am thinking of adding bags back into Sammy Sews Creations. I often thought I would change the name from Sammy Sews Creations because I haven't put bags up there. I became like this exclusive fiber yeah, art jewelry seller. I but bad. I would like. To add yeah, some bags real. back into a collection. What about Shame. Sammy's small creation? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. yeah. Oh, by the way, yeah, I've put in strings. Strings. So to yeah. trademark Woolen Women Fibers. Yeah, I'm that's exciting. I'm waiting to hear back about it. Yeah. Um, oh, and yeah. she also got pre-approved for more. Yes! Group. Yay! Yes, yeah, so I'm going to go house We're so soon. excited. Oh, oh, the Dye Studio is about to happen. Yes, yeah, so pray. Please pray please for Please pray us. for me and... Become a patron because you get to see all behind the scenes on me moving, developing my dye studio. Developing the dye studio. Yeah, that would be oh, so and by cool. the way, hopefully a nursery sometime. Oh yeah, we'll hopefully see. a nursery. Yeah, we're gonna do that up real good. Yeah. But we're not sure yet, so we're waiting. Anyway, I've mentioned my wrist like eight times, and I forgot to tell you what happened to it. Uh, yeah, no, cryptic. No. I know. We don't really know. Inside cows. <laughs> so if you noticed, like. I always have 20 projects going on, especially for the Patreon. Like, I keep it fresh. I try right. to not show you the same things for eight weeks straight. Right. And then I got involved in this test knit. <laughs> it's, it's center over there. I'm edge. a doctor. I have to keep busy. Yeah. My wrist just didn't agree. So I got involved in this test knit. Stop it. Sorry. <laughs> what are you <laughs> doing? Pray she gets the house. I know. So uh, I did this test knit, and I love this lady. Her name is Lily Langham. 
and she runs La. So she's cute. French, so I don't know if I'm butchering this name or not, but La Tricatus or something. Yeah, she's so sweet. I will link it. She has been so sweet. We have correspondence back and forth every now and then. She's like, please test at my shirt. I need somebody for like an extra, extra small or an extra small, and you're really tiny. And your yarn is great. I feel so, so bad. Put it in there. I started it in the Outlaw, and then I literally knitted like the whole cabled and uh, rib section and below. It didn't look right. It didn't yeah, look right, but I knew it. that was fine because we told her she fixed it. But I knitted it so fast along with all my other projects that literally yeah. this whole arm is arm useless. Is killing her. It's like killing me. I can't actually like knit anymore. Even here, I can only do but like you three. did a lot in the PhD. I did That's too really much. Did I think too yeah. quickly, and I need to. Yep, and now she's. And actually, like now crazy. I'm learning to do continental. So she, I put it on my Instagram, and a bunch of other fine. people said mm. continental is way better on the wrist. Yeah, so you're trying to Portuguese it, but... knitting. Um, a bunch of people put some stuff up yeah. there, so I'm going to try those things. But I do have a doctor's appointment on Tuesday because yeah, after a it's week, so bad, yeah. it's still bad. It radiates into my shoulder, and it's not getting any. I know we have plans. Like we could be hurt. Yeah, so that's what happened to my wrist. I will be out of commission for a little bit, but I'm still stitching with my left hand, if you can believe it or yeah, not. Yeah, so Where there's a will, there's oh a way. Oh my god, I'm on fire. So, I'm crazy. All right, does anybody else have anything else um, to share? Yeah, she was upset, but she was hurt. She's gone, it can only work. <laughs> I worked 90 hours a week. My wrist right. was fine. And it was fine. And then she comes to this and's having a good time. And I her, love knitting, and it's taking it away her from Her arm me. is being taken out. Her elbow. Horrible. <laughs> oh, my God. It's you so only bad. know where this arm has been while I worked But cattle. she was so funny. I mean, I had to laugh. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't need to laugh. It's awful. Because it's not funny. So but. now I'm rushing to the doctor so they can, like, quick fix it because I need to knit again. It was like you screaming. One time, Samantha, we were making bags into the middle of the night when we were visiting her. You know how hard it is to do something? in someone else's house with sewing oh, machines and all with a toddler with a toddler and he was baby he was like three maybe two and uh she starts yelling why did we make our hobby a job oh my god we died oh, oh. what were we thinking we went know. into we're hysterics oh my god that was funny but everybody knows it gets to that point i got a little upset the other if i broke one more needle oh i know it was bad what I is that about there. I don't I know. Mean, I don't know. My machine goes on yes. kicks oh. where it does that. It'll just break all the needles. Yeah, it, yeah. it's a little crazy. Then I'm thinking maybe I had it too tight. No. Then I took the machine apart again. No, it's angry at you. Because I had to like, see no. if it had the needle, so I cleaned it. It wasn't too bad in there because I cleaned it. Yeah. And then the stupid plate won't go back on. I got it back she on. She had to get in. She After had, three tries, I got it. And she had hurt herself, her hand. We couldn't get it to register. The computer kept saying, remember? It, was, yeah. it did that before. So she had to fix it for me the last time. I couldn't get it. Just off a little, and it kept saying. I'm always good. fixing the sewing machines, troubleshooting. My yep. girlfriend brings hers over, too, and it's I like, know, what's wrong funny? with it? <laughs> There's not too much that could go wrong. Now, I, I literally troubleshoot the same things over and over again, and yeah. it just... They're just temperamental. Oh, wait, I was doing, she's taught me so much about making with the bags because the other day I'm having the ripples and all that. I got 52 million pins. Yeah. That's how it happens. That's how you do it. That's how it happens. You but pin that, it, pin but it, 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 it works. It. And I'm like, look, I'm channeling Samantha. Yeah, it works, she doesn't me, it? Didn't she teach me well? There wasn't a pucker. Yeah. No puckers in the fabric. No you just have to use 3,000 pins. million pins. pins. And a needle or two. <laughs> I said, oh, oh, we're going to act like this fabric? That's fine. Look, gotta You're going to be shirt. like just a million pins. Yep, and you never pins. get any kind of pucker. I mean, I'm so slow, too. Yeah. Because now I'm speeding. I'm, I'm actually sewing very quickly. But with something like that, you got to go real slow. And I'm yelling at it. I'm going slow. <laughs> She's saying, what's wrong? <laughs> oh, it is aggravating. Oh, God. But I love it. <laughs> well, don't forget, um, comment about the Valentine's Day Advent. Yes. If you have an idea and you'd like to enter the giveaway. Yep. Thank you, everybody, for our 100 subscribers. Yes, We're so excited. Thank you so excited. much for all your support. It's so wonderful. And hopefully, God, makes me cry. when my wrist is back <laughs> to normal, I can show you some actual progress on myself. Yes. So, okay. Yes. All, all right. Time. Have a great week. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye.